Which number lies halfway between one-fifth and two-fifths? Well, we know that the number halfway between one and two is one and a half. But we can't write one and a half fifths because we can't have a fraction within a fraction. But what we can do is find equivalent fractions for both one-fifth and two-fifths. The next num multiple of five is ten, so we can change one-fifth and two-fifths into tenths. Five times two is ten, one times two is two, five times two is ten, two times two is four. So now that we know that one-fifth is the same as two-tenths and two-fifths is the same as four-tenths, we can see that the number right in the middle, the number that lies halfway between them, must be three-tenths. So we can show fraction bars for one-fifth and two-fifths, and we wanted the number halfway between them. So we can show a fraction bar, and you can see what's shaded is halfway between our top and bottom fraction bars. But that's three-tenths, and the way we found that was we changed one-fifth into two-tenths, two-fifths into four-tenths, so we could see that three-tenths was right in the middle. So which number lies halfway between two-thirds and three-quarters? Well, here we need to find equivalent fractions. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So we can find fractions equivalent to 2 thirds and to 3 quarters, which both have a denominator of 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Now we know that right in the middle, or halfway between, 8 and 9, we have 8 and a half. But again, we can't write 8 and a half over 12 as our answer, because we don't usually have fractions within fractions. So instead, rather than using the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4, let's use a different, larger common multiple. 24 is in the 3 and the 4 times tables, so let's find equivalent fractions which have a denominator of 24. 3 times 8 is 24, 2 times 8 is 16, 4 times 6 is 24, and 3 times 6 is 18. Now, we know the number in the middle of 16 and 18 is 17, so that must be 17 over 24, right in the middle or halfway between 2 thirds and 3 quarters. And we can show the fraction bars for 2 thirds and 3 quarters and a fraction bar right in the middle. That's 17 over 24. And the way we worked it out was by changing 2 thirds into 16 over 24 and 3 quarters into 18 over 24, so we could see that 17 over 24 must be right in the middle or halfway between those fractions.